is my STEM OPT is expiring February 2023. So what is STEM OPT? When you're a student visa holder in the United States, that's F1 visa, after you graduate, you automatically, uh, most of the time, get one year of uh, the ability to work in the United States and, 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 and you know get experience in the thing that you studied in. They call that OPT, Optional Practical Training. Now, if your major that you studied in was in the STEM field, science, technology, engineering, and math, you get additional like two years added to that afterwards. So this person, because says the STEM OPT is, is expiring, February 2023, do I have to be in status? I've applied for adjustment based on marriage to a green card holder. Please let me know, do I have to join school CB for status? So no, if once you fall for adjustment of status, as long as it's not a frivolous filing, a real one, and if you're married to you, a green card holder, it's, that, that's good. As long as your case is good, you don't need to maintain status after all over that. Now you can't violate status, you can't work without authorization or something like that. But if your school ends, or even if you drop out of school at this point, uh, it's okay. Uh, I would recommend finishing uh, school or OPT, just do it out, but uh, just don't work without authorization. So once uh, you uh, you know get your, uh, I hope you requested employment authorization with the adjustment of status application. And if you did, then work once the EAD comes for that. Uh, note that if you're married to a US citizen, you could, uh, if you work without authorization or had some violations like that by itself, would not affect the case, but if you're married to a green card holder, that exception, that extra privilege doesn't exist. So what you gotta do is, uh, you know, just avoid any violations. Um, but yeah, you don't need to maintain status if you file for adjustment of status. It's better that you do, but overall, uh, you generally don't need to maintain status after filing for I-485 adjustment of status. Thank you for that question. It's very important, we get that question a lot. I'm glad I can help you out with that and some guidance. Thank you for watching this educational program. To get the latest videos, click the subscribe button and the notification bell icon. Also, help us help the immigrant community by liking this video and sharing it with your family and friends. You can also find us on other social media sites like Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, LinkedIn, and Twitter, where you find the latest updates on immigration news, policy changes, and tips. Be safe and God bless. See you soon.